I'm Justin with americantrucks.com and on this episode of The Hall we're showing you how the best truck in the land, the Ford F-150 is built right here in Dearborn. Very exciting day for us here at American Trucks. We are in Dearborn, Michigan, the motherland, to see where the F-150 comes together. Now joining me is Chris Yates, body area manager here for the plant. Now Chris, if you would, sir, just tell us a little bit more about what we're gonna see here today. What we're gonna go through is we'll take you through the uh, building uh, sheet metal components of the F-Series. We get the components from stamping and then we assemble them together, make sure they're sound, metal finish them, and ship them to the paint department. Well, looks like we have a lot of ground to cover in here, sir. What do you say we go check some stuff out? Sounds good. All right, let's do it. Well, Chris, so we were talking a little bit more off camera. Essentially, what you start off with is the stamping process, correct? That's correct, yep. And from there, it goes into what we call your fixtures or your pallets. Yeah, so behind us, you'll see a pallet. It's basically the foundation of the truck. As you can see, the robots are validating that that pallet is, is in good shape. There's no issues with that pallet. And behind us, you can see where the undervisors go on the overhead. This section right here is the, the beginning of the end, right? I'm actually taking the unit off the pallet and I'm putting it on a skid. The skid will travel through my closure line and the paint system so that it can get the rest of the components done there. And I'm taking the pallet and sending it back to the system and starting it all over again. So basically this is where the upper portion of the cab and the lower portion, the floor pan, essentially come together. And you said you rivet those all together. Any welding happening at this point? We do have some laser welds and we'll take you through that later. All right. And you got a fun name for the robot behind us, huh? Yeah, we call that Godzilla. All right, let's go check out the next step. So guys, while Chris and I were on our way to joining, he explained a very cool process going on behind us. So what we have behind us is we have a, a perceptron system which inspects the unit 100%, right? It looks at over 120 points for the locating strategy. And if we have a problem with the truck, these lasers will pinpoint that problem and it will write it to the quality leadership system and it will be pulled off for someone to inspect. So it's a 100% inspection of the components on 120 points. 120 points in about how long again? 40 seconds. 40 seconds, and that's how you're able to crank out over 1,300 trucks a day. What do you say we head down to joining? Okay. Let's do it. Well, Chris, we're working our way down the line a little bit more here, and you're saying we're at a park called Joining now. Yep, we'll have our Joining engineer, Chris Gertz, take you through the joining process on this system. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Good, Justin, how Appreciate are you? Good, thank you so much, Chris. We'll see you in a bit, all right? So what's so, going on, sir? Here we have one of our mechanical fastening tools. This truck is built with mechanical fasteners as opposed to welding. So here we have a flow drill screw where it is used for single-sided joint access. Where we can't get to both sides to make a joint, we use a screw. We have a motor that drives it to 5,000 RPMs and we drive the screw in to create a sound joint. Wow, so explain a little bit more why you guys don't use welding. Is it because of the switch to aluminum or? Yeah, when you weld, spot weld aluminum, it requires much more power. So Ford decided to go with the mechanical fastening. Seems to do the trick. Well, Chris, where do we go from here, man? Next, we'll go down to our riveting process, which is another mechanical fastening. All right, cool, let's go check it out. Now, I'm making my way down the line here with Chris. Just a reminder, where we started earlier in this video, we've essentially already seen all of this come together, but we're kind of working our way back and showing you the next part of the joining process, which is riveting? Yeah, riveting is the next part. Okay. Another mechanical fastener that works with the flow drills and all the structural adhesive to build the structure. So riveting, we have access to both sides of the joint. We drive a certain rivet into a die, which has a certain profile to create the joint. So we have two different systems here. We have our tape feed system, and then we also have the magazine system system here, which allows us to fire two different rivets at different points on the truck. So oh, wow. one rivet at a time, depending on the joint. Okay. This is essentially where most of the joining happens, but there is some welding going on here, correct? Uh, yes. On the next line over, we'll show you our laser welding process. Okay. Let's go check that out. Yeah, back here in this booth, we have our laser welding that welds a seam for the body side to the roof panel that creates a nice tight sealed joint along the whole length of the roof. And that's what we're seeing here going on in this screen, right? It's all enclosed in this little building. Looks like it's just running that one beat across the whole roof line, but there is some human operators going on as well, doing some hand welding. Yeah, we have two operators up here that do the inspection of the weld, and there's a small section on the front opening that they have to manually weld that the robot can't reach. There you go. So there's still some stuff that the humans have to do where the robot just simply can't, huh? Yes, sir. Well, 
All right, Chris, so we're moving away from the line a little bit. What are we going into next? Yeah, next we'll take you through uh, the laser scanning of parts, and Kurt's going to take you through that process. Good. Hey, Kurt, how you doing? Nice to meet Appreciate you. Appreciate you as well. Thanks, Chris. Take yeah. care, man. Thank you. Take care. What are we doing, sir? So, Justin, basically what we do with this scanning is we use it any time there's a concern with a vehicle. Like this, this vehicle, for instance, happened to be one of the rafters where we were getting a small little gap okay. between the tail lamp and the box outer, and they wanted us to root cause it. So what we'll do is we'll take our scanner and we scan all the relative parts. And what we're actually able to do is we can scan things that you can't even see. When we put these targets on here, those targets actually keep the relationship of the two parts. So we can scan it as a whole, then we can pull that tail lamp off of there. Then we can actually scan the inside of the tail lamp. And because of those targets, it actually relates it back to that original still built up alignment and then we're able to root cause and see exactly why we're getting that uh, that little bit of gap. So in this case what was the cause of something like that? And this was actually a little bit of a two-part issue. The tail lamp like right down in this corner was a little bit inboard and it had a little bit of an extra cutout right there because of that was just a little bit off and that was a little bit off it they, they, they kind of compounded each yeah. other so what we did is figured out which ones were good, which ones were bad, and change the tooling so it went back to design. And then, no more gaps. How about that? Well, I was so. going to say, as a, as a 2017 Raptor owner, no gaps whatsoever, sir, so well done on that. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Well, guys, Chris just handed us off from the body area at the Ford assembly plant. Now we're with Debbie Manzano, plant manager here at Final. How are you doing, Debbie? Good, I'm great. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. Tell everybody at home what exactly this portion of the assembly is all about. Right, so this is our final assembly building where the vehicles come in over from the paint shop after they get painted. We have a trim shop over here. We have a chassis shop. And we're standing right in front of the uh, decking cell. So this is where the chassis could stack to the uh, body right here. At this point, the powertrain's already been dropped in. Obviously, wheels are on, yep. but now the body meets its frame for the first time. It does. Very cool. Can we check out the next step? Yeah, you mind? absolutely. Let's yeah. do it. All yeah. right. Well, Debbie, we've seen the trucks get dropped onto the frame, but they were lacking a few body panels at that right, part. Right. Looks like we're addressing that here. Right, so this right here is where we put the doors on the vehicle here. So the doors actually come off early in the process. We actually build our doors on a separate line for ease of chip and scratch, ease of assembly for people to get into the vehicles as well as to build up the doors. And then they all come back together and sync up right here where the doors get back on the vehicle before it actually heads off the flat top. That's awesome. And this yeah. is kind of an important job for these operators right because if they're not quick with the door they're gonna back up production right 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 so it's synced up it's timed perfectly so as the vehicle comes into the station the operator is able to get the door it gives them enough time to get it loaded to the vehicle and secure it onto the frame looks like we're almost at a complete truck correct just about it is almost ready for shipping the last step which we're gonna head over to is our pre-delivery system we're gonna go through all our final testing we'll do dynamic testing static testing and we'll go through a final inspection and get it ready for the customer any burnout testing, yeah. I'm good at that. <laughs> All right, let's go check that out. Great. Well, Debbie, we're pretty much there. It looks like we're looking at some completed trucks here, and this is actually a very important stage because they're getting started for the first time, correct? Yeah, this is what we call our final flat top area. This is where the vehicle, for the first time, gets started, and we produce that F-150 truck that everybody's so proud of. So just prior to this, though, we do have some inspections. We also do fluid fills of the vehicle, so you get gas in the vehicle, right, so we can get it started up and out the door. Um, and then as we process off the flat top here, it goes into our alignment pit, so we do some alignment. We do calibration of all those modules that we've got, right? So we've got a lot of modules on the vehicle to make it a smart vehicle. And then it goes into uh, dyno testing and static testing before it goes over to our customer acceptance line. And that's where all the power is verified, make sure everything looks right, checks right. out okay, and uh, at that point you can send it on. Yep, that's it. Well, one thing to point out too that we haven't at this point, and I think it's extremely important, very mind-blowing, these things haven't stopped moving throughout the entire right. tour, which basically translates to how many trucks a day or every how many seconds? So every 53 seconds a vehicle comes off the end of this line. Wow. Yeah. And that translates, give or take, to around almost 1,300 trucks Yeah, approximately 1,300 trucks a day. Best selling vehicle yeah. in the world. You got to keep up with the man. You got to keep moving in order to be the best there selling vehicle. There you go. Vehicle. That's you awesome. Well, let's yeah. check out that final set. All right. Cool. Super. We're walking to the final stage here of assembly, but Debbie pointed out a very cool area, a very busy area at that. 
They call it the Waha. So what happens here? Well, you get your vehicle tow uh, alignment done up front. You get your headlight alignment done as well, in addition to adaptive cruise control and lane departure stuff. Now, what you can see is there is almost like a little pit underneath these trucks right now, kind of like an oil change place. That guy is doing the alignment on two trucks at a time. So do this one, go to the next one, do that one. And then the truck from here moves on to the dyno cell. As you guys can see over there, that's where the truck gets verified for power, emissions, and all that good stuff. Well, Debbie, I think this is pretty much the end of the line, correct? This is it. This right. is where the final vehicle gets uh, shipped over to the customer. So this is what we're standing on right now is our customer acceptance line. So this is all final inspection of the vehicle. We got robots that check fit and finish. We got people that verify the vehicle. They touch and feel. So we got some fanatical inspection going on. We actually also have this water booth. Vehicles go through 100% water testing. Make sure there's no water leaks in our vehicles okay. and then uh, out the door. This is very cool. In fact, I was talking to Jason off camera a little bit. He said these guys know the these trucks so well that if they close the door and they hear something that just doesn't sound right, right, they know something's wrong. Whereas you and I would open these doors a million times and never hear something like that. But that's just a testament to how well these, these guys know these trucks. Yeah, and our people take so much pride in building this vehicle. They're just so proud of it. And like I said, you know, it's the number one vehicle in the country and we want to keep it that way. Absolutely. Well, as a proud F-150 owner, you guys do a heck of a job. Debbie, thank, thank you so you. much for having thank us here today. Here. It's been our pleasure and uh, it's really cool to see how these things are built. Well guys, that's going to wrap us up here from Dearborn, seeing how the best truck in the land is built, the Ford F-150. It was really cool seeing how these things are born all the way to completion here. Guys, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. And remember, for all things F-150, keep it right here at AmericanTrucks.com.